All right, guys, we're putting the second part on reconstructing the nose of this airplane here. Firewall's going to go right here, and then you can see what's left of this bulkhead right here. This compartment here is where the fuel tank is, and then here's the engine bay. So putting this part on, I'll just I can put this thing down for a second. I can show you this side of the plane. Oops. Um, you can see how, how much it was damaged. The canopy shattered. Um, you know, the bottom of the plane ripped off, the whole front smashed. The idea behind repairing an airplane is if, if you ever, and any one of you that flies planes will, will know this, um, but when a plane goes down, if you're going to fix it, pick up every single piece on the ground that you can. Even, even little pieces like this that look small and insignificant, it makes a difference. Pick everything up, reconstruct the airplane as best you can. Once that's done, then you're going to take it as is and get new strips of wood, new pieces like this, or, or whatever size you need. This thing's coming apart, and I have to just hold this. Um, and being that this is a very soft wood, you, you're going to start cutting pieces out and fabricating new pieces and putting it back together. And you know, you take your time. You can use wood filler and and you know, separate pieces of wood. And there's a lot of different methods that, that you could use. Um, you know, somewhat similar to painting a car at the at the auto body shop. So again, I'll show you guys how to do it um, as as we go along. We're, what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm going to reconstruct this as best I can, and then we'll shoot another video, and I'll show you exactly where we're at, and then we'll do a second part of the repair uh, from there, and then we'll do a covering video, and you know show you before and after shots, and then we'll we'll take you out to the field for its uh, next maiden, you know after rebuild flight. All right, guys, I got the front pull back together here, and again here's the fuselage. I pulled all the uh, electronics and everything out, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the airplane and it's going to go roughly right here. There's a little bit of alignment stuff you have to do. But as you can see, this is good for the video because there's a big hole in the plane that has to be repaired that's going to have to be fabricated. And again, I'm going to show you how to do it. Can you talking about this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. I'm going to stop the camera now and when this is uh, put together, we'll go ahead and start the camera and, and we'll show you the next step. All right? Take care, guys. Okay guys, I'm actually getting ready to glue this thing now, but as I was telling you before, make sure you pick up as many pieces as you can. Come here, look. Let me show you this. Even this little strip of wood right here, as you can see without it, it leaves this huge... See this right here? And this actually... This piece actually is going to go in right here like this. This is what how as it broke off of the aircraft. So as I put this thing on, it'll, it'll fill a gap well enough. See that? It's it's still going to be rough after it's glued and that's fine because once once we have that set in place and it's hardened and the structure is secure um, we'll epoxy this thing and then we're going to sand it and use wood filler to smooth everything out and then and then we'll go ahead and get it covered and after but the covering of course is going to be last. So once this is done then I'm going to go ahead and, and replace my engine mount and as you can see, that broke. See that? Nice. Real nice. That's okay. Um, and then we'll we'll press on from there. This little ring goes in the front of the plane, and this is actually used. I like to use this as a. It protects the front of the airplane from the engine, but at the same time, that ring you want to get the engine centered right here. So you can use this this ring to help align the engine mount as as you reattach it. So. All good things, guys, is coming together well, and I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this now. This took a little bit of time to, to uh, whittle it back together and, and figure it out. It takes time. It, it doesn't always go back together smooth. It's not like a puzzle. You always have to, you know, every time it crashes and you rebuild it, it's always going to change a little bit, and you just have to be ready for that. But, you know, with a little bit of, of patience, sanding, epoxy, wood filler, and, you know, a little bit of flexibility and a little bit of know-how, you know, it's a piece of cake. You guys can fix anything. It's, you know, you'd be surprised. So, all right, guys, welcome back again. I got the, the front of the plane put together here. So let's take a look here. The lighting, I apologize for the lighting. It's it's uh, starting to get kind of late in the afternoon, but I got this piece on. You can see the epoxy bleeding through a little bit right here. This part's raised up where the, the canopy goes. I'm going to have to repair that. Um, but as, as you can see, the plane is, is coming back together. It's uh, it's solid again. So 
Um, we're just uh, we're just going to keep pressing on with that. The next thing we're going to do is install the engine mount. We still have a little bit of this is open right here, but I left it that way so that we can have a little bit of room and a little bit of play when we go to attach. Here's the firewall, and that's going to go in right here. But here's the front of the plane. I just wanted to show you guys a quick update, and you know we'll go ahead and press on from there. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you. See you next time.